Hi there, today we're gonna talk about osteomalacia. Introduction Bone is a living tissue. All bone cells are continuously being removed and replaced with new cells. Definition a condition in adults in which bones become soft and deformed because they don't have enough calcium and phosphorus. This means they can bend and break more easily than normal. It is usually caused by not having enough vitamin D in the diet, not getting enough sunlight, or a problem with the way the body uses vitamin D. Epidemiology The condition occurs in children, it is called rickets. It is also called a dark rickets. The incident rate is approximately 1 in 1,000 people. Limited finding from Malaysia-related studies, however, deficiency in vitamin D was seen in 78.9% of participants which involved young adults in Peninsula Malaysia. The deficiency was significantly higher in girls 92.6%, Indian adults 88.6% and urban living adults 88.8%. Clinically relevant anatomy. In adults, the vitamin D deficiency results in abnormal bone formation, which is weaker than healthy bone. There is increased risk of fractures, which tend to affect the vertebral bodies in the spine and the neck of femur. If osteomalacia persists, it may result in lower density bone and subsequently osteoporosis. Let's take a look at the diagrams. Pathophysiology. It starts with deficiency of vitamin D, hypocalcemia, increasing of PTH secretion, plasma calcium increase, plasma phosphorus decrease, bone resorption increase, bone formation for compensation, lack of calcium and phosphorus. All of these will lead to the rickets or osteomalacia. Etiology. Inadequate dietary intake of vitamin D. Inadequate exposure to sunlight which produce vitamin D, malabsorption of vitamin D by intestine, inherited or acquired disorder of vitamin D metabolism. Advanced renal disease, phosphate depletion associated with low dietary intake of phosphate that can lead to hypophosphatemia, certain medications such as those used to treat epilepsy. And, and symptoms, often in the early stages, there are not any symptoms. However, as the condition progresses, osteomalacia can cause pain felt in the bones and joints, muscle pain and weakness, particularly following exercise, fractures, particularly those in the hips, lower back and feet. Difficulty walking and a change in how you walk, muscle cramps, pins and needles in the hands and feet because of low calcium levels and fatigue. Clinical investigation, medical examination, blood test to measure calcium, phosphate and vitamin D levels in the blood. X-ray of the pelvis, spine and lung bone show reduced bone density and changes characteristic of osteomalacia. Bone biopsy if the above tests are inconclusive, bone scan or bone skin graphy. Physical examination, weddling gait, weakness from hip, pain and thigh, difficulty rising from chair and climbing stairs. Management, surgical, corrective osteotomy and fixation with external fixators, as you can see there, freshness wires, inflammatory nail, pads and casting including epiphyseal disease, we provide to you some photos. Conservative, adequate diet with vitamin D, providing calcium, large doses of oral vitamin D, take supplements, stop smoking and reduce alcohol taken, maintaining a healthy weight, Wearing braces to reduce or prevent bone irregularities, get sunlight exposure. Complication More likely to break bones, particularly in ribs, spine, and leg, growth deformity in children, hypocalcemic scissors. Kidney failure, physical disability, recurrence or progression of osteomalacia. Prognosis Prognosis is good if underlying causes of vitamin D deficiency are addressed. If left untreated, osteomalacia can lead to broken bone and severe deformity. By taking enough vitamin D and supplement, osteomalacia can be cured. 
Impairment and functional limitations. Decreased muscle tone and leg weakness can cause a waddling gait, make walking slower and more difficult. ADL may be affected due to pain and limited range of motion. Social activities may be curtailed due to difficulties in functional mobility. Need others help to carry heavy things. Need extra precautions when doing play and leisure activities. That's all from us. Thank you.